Okay, patch build. Let's take a look here, shall we? Druids. Heals all target players, party members within 40 yards. Wow. Wild growth got a massive range buff here. And and uh, the effectiveness seems to be increased as well. Cool. So Skull Bash shares a cooldown with Feral Charge. That makes a lot of sense. Skull Bash here also shares cooldown with Feral Charge. So that you can't double or triple kick people. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a good change. Wild Growth here um, also goes up to 40 yards. So whether you get it from the gloves or from whatever this talent is, it's a nerf on both spots. Same thing with Skull Bash. All right, that's Druid. Let's take a look at the Hunter. Lone Wolf We've got a slight nerf. So maybe it was too OP and like everyone was playing Lone Wolf and they didn't want to make it. So you have to play Lone Wolf. So they nerfed it. Maybe a good change. I personally love the idea of Lone Wolf. Mages back in the day had a spell called Lonely Winter. Actually, do they still have? Yeah, they probably still have Lonely Winter on retail. And um, I liked it personally. I like not having a pet and just having more damage. I think it's pretty cool, but I understand you want to keep it in line. Uh, and Great Pan Sniper Training. This also got nerfed. So Hunters were too OP. And they nerfed them. Let's take a look at Mages. Rewind time. Your current target with your Temporal Beacon instantly heals all damage taken over the last five seconds. Wow, that's so insane. Ineffective on targets that do not have Temporal Beacon five seconds ago. Cooldown changed from one minute down to 30 seconds. Wow. Okay, they cut it in half. All right, Mage Healer in full effect, boys. Mage Healer in full effect. Or maybe it'll be like more of like a hybrid. Like you could play Rewind Time. Like I'm thinking of like Classic Plus 2s and you're playing like Rogue Mage and like you use Rewind Time to like heal up your Rogue and maybe yourself. Kind of like a Temp Shield. Like that's sick. All right, Pally. So a lot of Pally changes. And this is uh, what Twitch chat was talking about. Apparently, Rhett's got nerfed. So let's take a look. Beacon of Light got nerfed from 60 yards down to 40. Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, 60 seems like a really big radius. I'm curious what it is in like Wrath or, or later expansions. So yeah, six. I don't know what. I don't know if it's normally 60 or 40, but that seems reasonable to go down to 40. Crusader Strike was a four second cooldown up to six. Once again, I'm trying to remember what Crusader Strike was in other expansions because I feel like six seems really reasonable I'm curious so in Wrath Crusader Strike I'm curious Crusader Strike in Wrath is a four second cooldown am I tripping is this wrong because in chat people are saying six is this wrong Crusader Strike Wrath. It says four here. In Wrath. That seems really short. Anyway. So they made it a six second cooldown instead of a four. Once again, that seems somewhat reasonable to me. Divine Sacrifice cannot be used while you're under the effects of Blessing and Protection. Divine Shield... Our divine protection prevents you from being targeted by those abilities while it's active. Yeah, I think that's smart. Um, that would be like a really OP combo pairing, right? If you bubble and then divine sack, and then you redirect all the damage to you, but you don't actually take any. I don't know if it needed to be nerfed, though. Here's the thing. I don't know what's under the hood. Blizzard does. Right now, there's no beta testing. There's no alpha. There's no anything to go off of. If Blizzard's been doing testing internally and they found that Divine Sacrifice gives too much value, maybe this is fantastic. Hard to tell. But I plan to bring out the Rep Pally and Sod as well. So a part of me is crying inside. Engraved Chest, Seal of Martyrdom. Fills you with Holy Spirit for 30 seconds, causing each of your melee attacks to deal 30% weapon damage. It's not AoE anymore, it's just to your target. Wow. 
but you lose health equal to 10% of the damage inflicted instead of two? What? Well, while the seal is active, your party members within 40 yards each gain mana equal to 10% of the damage. Okay, so you're taking health. It's almost like a life tap-ish seal. Kind of cool. All right. So since it's not AoE, maybe they, and it's only single target, maybe that's why they went from 2% to 10. And then from here, they went from 2 to 10 as well. That might be what's going on there. And I'm curious on the decision to make it single target. Maybe it was just too OP to have pallies with that much AoE. Hmm. Confirmation in the chat that you went on your Wrath Pally and Crusader Strike is four seconds. Perfect. Cool, cool. In Grave Gloves, speaking of light. So once again, this changed to 40 yards instead of 60. Seems reasonable. Hand of Reckoning. Did anything change here? Causing you to gain mana. Oh, maybe it was just a typo. They added the word two. Is that just a typo? Okay, cool. Nice. Divine Sacrifice, once again, same change. Hand of Reckoning, they added the two again. Great. Seal of Martyrdom. Okay. I think I'm fine with all of these changes. Six seconds on Crusader Strike seems reasonable. This, like, all of these seem very reasonable. It's not like they got gutted. It's not like they got, like, completely ruined. I'm curious how someone like Ezfan thinks of these, but myself as an OG Rep Pally, back in Classic, those all seem like reasonable, okay changes, and I'm still excited to play Rhett, so that's good. All right. Priest. Circle feeling got buffed up to 40 yards. That makes a lot of sense. Um... And the healing got increased as well. Wow. Strength of soul. Got... In addition, targets of your power which will gain a rage from taking damage despite being absorbed. Wow! Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. So right now, if you're a priest healer, you get flamed if you shield a tank or a warrior. Like, you get absolutely flamed. Because they can't generate rage. If they can't generate rage, they can't build threat. If they can't build threat, they lose aggro. And if they lose aggro, someone dies and you wipe. Right? So Power Word Shield can literally cause a wipe. But with this change, you can use Power Word Shield on a tank. They still gain rage. That's a massive W. Also, for PvP. Someone in the chat says that's big for PvP. That's true. So right now, as a priest in PvP... If you're healing a warrior, shielding them is kind of griefing them in a way because they can't generate rage, they can't do damage, and then they're on the defensive, and then you kind of lose, right? This owns. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked for that. That's really cool. That's really cool. Really cool change. I wonder who thought of that. Maybe it was Truskis. She, she made Priest for a while. Maybe she put that together of like, that would be a dope change for everything, for everyone. Saber Slash. Cost change from 55 to 45 energy. Okay, so they, they made Saber Slash a little bit better. Maybe it was underperforming just a tad. And that's all the rogue changes. Shaman! For the next 10 seconds, 25% of your damage converted to healing up to three nearby enemy members. Or party members. Oh, it's just maybe a, a typo. They just added the word members, it seems like. Cool. Once again, this might have just been like a typo as well. Instead of engrave your chest or robe with the healing rain rune, it's healing rain rune. What the hell did they change? It's the exact same thing. Yeah, not sure if I'm missing something there. It looks like the same exact thing from my perspective. Shield mastery went from 4 to 8% of your maximum mana. Okay, okay. Bro, tank shaman's in full effect. I can't wait. Reach and mana. It's going to be amazing. Molten Blast. Uh, once again, it looks like they just changed the wording of it, like, a little bit. Blast up to zero enemies in a cone. Zero, huh? Blast up to zero. So anywhere from negative infinity to up to zero. Perfect. Great. Um, for the next 10 seconds, 25% of your damage can convert into healing on the three enemy party members. Once again, it's a typo, probably. Shamistic Rage. So, Shamans have a wall. Really probably good for tanking shamans and for PvP in general. Man, Sod, it's going to be so fun. Your party members within 40 yards will also receive 10% of the mana you receive this way. Okay, cool. So you'll be able to be more of like a utility class on top of being a utility class. Love it. 
and crave pans weigh the earth well rock fighter weapon is active on your main hand you deal 50 percent increased threat instead of 100. okay so maybe the threat generation was too high and they wanted to like scale it to be similar to oh wow you gain 30 percent increased health and oh my gosh rock fighter weapon is like how you become a tank that's insane yeah maybe the threat generation was just a bit too high that's pretty cool though man tank shamans that's awesome that is so cool like i don't mind tank shamans my criticism of sod has more been you don't want to go too far with changing a class a tank shaman bro they already had earth shock that generated threat they already had the ability to wear a shield like you could almost kind of already tank shaman in classic vanilla it just wasn't very good now it's like making it viable making something that already existed viable i'm fine with that i feel like for me like rogue tanking is maybe a bit too far because it's like now it's just like wait what what's going on here is this classic anymore like what's happening maybe a bit too silly but this this seems awesome this seems dope i love it cool i'm excited for sham across the board warlock engrave chest like a fire so instead of gaining lake of fire you just it's just part of your reign of fire maybe like they just changed how it works a bit same thing with master channeler cool they just you don't actually gain an ability it's just part of your train life your train life changes into the master channeler cool engraved gloves metamorphosis increases your threat only by 50 once again tank warlock if it was up to me and i know people might hate me for this i would not do the whole metamorphosis tank lock thing to me that feels like a little too far personally but I know I might get some hate for that because Warlock players are probably stoked for this. But uh, that might be like just a little bit out of bounds. Still will probably be pretty cool though. Shadow Bolt Volley. Just changing the wording. Metamorphosis once again. Reducing the threat gen just a little bit. Put it in line with other classes I'm sure. Great. In Grave Pants. Consumed by Rage. In Rage is you and Krantz a 20% melee damage bonus for 12 seconds. We're up to a maximum of 12 swings after you exceed 80 rage. So a slight nerf there. Instead of 25, it's just down to 20. Okay, maybe the deeps on Warrior was just too damn high. Fury is Thunder. Uh, Thunderclap increases the time and deals increased threat. Cool. Can be used in any stance as well. Wow, okay. So Thunderclap's going to be a big threat now. Not quite a taunt, but like big threat. Kind of like maybe like an Earthshock or something. Sweet. Well, those are the sod changes. I'm going to be honest. I think I like all of these. I don't know what, like, do you guys, are you guys happy with these changes? I think I like all of them. I don't know if there's a single change that I'm mauled about. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm fine with every single change. There's no change that makes me feel like, oh, come on. Like, they all seem very reasonable. Every single change seems like minor and reasonable yeah it just seems like a, like small tuning stuff it doesn't seem like none of this stuff seems like anyone can be too m mad about cool here are the patch notes is this the same thing that we just went over Asloff? oh you're just linking it for the chat got it okay how do i feel about mage healing personally i feel like mage healing is like a bit out of bounds like a bit overboard just a little bit personally i'm gonna be a mage dps player all right although for pvp it might be good to spec into one heal might be good 